Hi everybody, this is Marina again and today I'd like to invite you to have a walk around Sochi center. Do you remember these symbols of Olympic Winter Games of uh, 2014? Wow! Oh, Hare Krishna! <laughs> so funny people! And um, this season there are a lot of tourists in Sochi because we don't have uh, our favorite places abroad this year and that's why that's why people from the whole big Russia come here in this southern capital of Russia, Sochi uh, what can I say? Sochi is a green and cozy and beautiful and modern city and Sochi lives its own life in its own times and uh, with its own traditions and I, th I see that um, people here have never heard about sanctions <laughs> There are a lot of restaurants and um, mm, modern people are working and prices are very expensive everywhere in the grocery stores, in markets. It's twice time more expensive than even in Moscow. Russian people like to to spend money it's very hot today it's about plus 32 but now it's evening a little bit more cool Sochi is a multicultural and multinational city and there are a lot of Armenian people living here What surprised me here is uh, freedom, freedom of everything, first of all freedom in behavior. All people do what they want. And look at this rose garden. This this is the first time I'm here. and have a look at these flowers flowers are everywhere this is the most green city in Russia maybe Moscow is not green I 
and Sochi is a good resort in all seasons. I'm looking forward to buying a cup of coffee somewhere. Ah, no, this is wine bar. I don't drink wines. The smell of local spices. <laughs> I live in a suburb of Sochi, just 20 minutes by train, and so now I'm going to the railway station of course I can use a taxi or or a bus but this is a time of terrible traffic jams that's why it's more easy and uh, cheaper to go by train the price is only uh, 42 rubles this is a palm tree alley Sochi is located in an amazing area it's a tropical area and farmers here uh, get two three harvests per year of fruits and vegetables and people are really very friendly and and relaxed. Oh, guys, do you know, know the name of this blue crocodile? I can show you. Who is this? Who is this? <laughs> it's everywhere. A new hero. And so many beautiful people and beautiful Russian girls. And the sun is so strong here. And these girls, maybe they're not sunbathing. People of absolutely different ages are walking and talking. I'm very 
mm, very relaxed atmosphere of southern place in spite of modern buildings around This summer, um, to spend one week here for one guest uh, in the hotel, in the two stars hotel, with breakfast, uh, costs about 40, 45 thousand rubles. For me, it's nonsense because the hotels of two stars hotels are not the best choice. <laughs> But it's overbooking everywhere. It's hard to find free rooms here because of this situation. And at last, I see so beautiful building, railway station. And do you know what is this amazing building? built in, 90, uh, in 1936. This is the theater of all genres. This is for dramas, comedies, operas, musicals, for everything, and a concert hall. And city is, uh, city Sochi is a city park. Uh, and uh, do you see what's behind eucalyptus, behind the trees? This is the most popular hotel, 19th floor hotel, was built in 1970. Uh, uh, its name Zemchujina, it means the pearl, but it's hard to see from here. Having walked around Sochi, we reached the Buda of mineral water again and it's free of charge you can buy smoothie or just to drink mineral water here you know my dear friends that Sochi is a very young city it's only 130 years old um, it's amazing uh, but um, All these beaches at the beginning of the 20th century were only nudist beach beaches and separately uh, for men and for women. Not now, of course. Of course, there are a lot of nudist beaches, but not in Sochi, in the suburbs. And the hotel here of 1936. Look, it's wonderful, it's still working. And so many different trees from all over the world. For example, this one is a Japanese pine tree. And look, it's an interesting fact that all the branches of this pine tree um, always bend to the seaside. It's really funny. I have a a personal guide here and that's why it's very interesting to walk around this marvelous southern capital of Russia. At the end of 19th century this was the first hospital here in Sochi and the first doctor and he lives here in this lived here in this hospital. <laughs> it's very small but amazing building and uh, look what's around hotels but his uh, grand grandson still lives here I can't even imagine what's price of this uh, building of 19th century everything is very expensive in Sochi as in Moscow this uh, very beautiful and effective building is a seaport of Sochi uh, it was built in 1953 and the architect of this seaport 
was in love at that time. He was married, a young actress, and thanks to her, the building is really amazing. I will come closer and I will show you the monument of Ukraine. It symbolizes friendship between our peoples. Not only Ukrainian, of course, but Ukrainian as well. And this area was the old market. Now it's park, but it was the old market at the beginning of 20th century. It was the dirtiest area in the city. And I'm really amazed with the nine kinds of palm trees. These are one of the kinds from Chile. Palm trees are perfect here. And palm trees, trees uh, also love Sochi. <laughs> and um, I'm very hungry after this hard day. And I ordered, look, shawarma. For me, in cheese brie, yellow one, with chicken. Yes, this is mine. It's getting ready. It's a wonderful, wonderful life to walk around Sochi with delicious hot shawarma and a bottle of Coca-Cola. I had paid for all these three. 180 rubles and have a good day my dear friends and another small lake and a very beautiful uh, corner of Sochi is lake with look frogs wow <laughs> did you see it oh they are so pretty and they also like the sun, a lot, a lot of frogs, but it's difficult to see. Oh my god, a railway station in Sochi is a real masterpiece. It's from marble and stone. And look at this. It reminds me ancient Greece or Rome but not the southern part of, of Russia uh, and I need to buy a ticket to the suburb train yeah here is the price I bought a ticket 42 rubles but I am late for one minute and I have to wait next suburb train for one hour. So, <laughs> are you with me? Let's walk a little bit. <sighs> what can I do? It was long line in a ticket office. But it's so beautiful here that I am not upset. This is the second time I come to the railway station. And second time I put my luggage here. Oh my god. Long line everywhere.